everyone constitutional reforms and propaganda in legislature legislative councils in india had no real official power till 1920 yet work done in them by the nationalists helped the growth of the national movement the imperial legislative council constituted by the indian councils act 1861 was an important body designed to disguise official measures as having been passed by a representative body Indian members were a few in number in, in the 30 years from 1862 to 1892 only 45 Indians were nominated to it most of them being wealthy landed and with loyalist interests only a handful of political figures and independent intellectuals such as Syed Ahmed Khan Christopher Das Paul V N Mandli K L Nolkar and Rashbhari Bahari Ghosh also written as Raj Bihari Ghosh were among those nominated from 1885 to 1892 the nationalist demands for constitutional reforms were central centered around expansion of councils that is greater participation of indians in councils and reform of councils that is more powers to councils especially greater control over finances the early nationalists worked with the long term objective of a democratic self government their demands for constitutional reforms were meant to have been considered in 1892 in the form of the indian councils act these reforms were severely criticized at congress sessions where the nationalists made no secret of their dissatisfaction with them now they demanded a majority of elected indians and control over the budget that is the power to vote upon and amend the budget they gave the slogan no taxation without representation gradually the scope of constitutional demands were widened dada bhai noroji 1904 gopala krishna gokhale 1905 and lokmanya tilak 1906 demanded self government along the lines of the self governing colonies of canada and australia also leaders like perosha mehta and gokhale put government policies and proposals to severe criticism the british had intended to use the councils to incorporate more vocal among indian leaders so as to allow them to let off their political steam while the important councils could afford to remain deaf due to their criticism but the nationalists were able to transform these councils into forums for ventilating proper grievances for exposing the defects of an indifferent bureaucracy for criticizing government policies proposals raising basic economic issues especially regarding public finance the nationalists were thus able to enhance their political stature and build a national national movement while undermining the political and moral influence of imperialist rule this helped in generating anti imperialist sentiments among the public but at the same time the nationalists failed to widen the democratic base of the movement by not including the masses especially women and not demanding the right to vote for all like share and subscribe to support the channel thank you bye